Hey guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to find the detailed error message when your app crashes. And that's going to help you uh, figure out what's going wrong with your project. Because a lot of the time when it crashes, you get this green line highlighting something in your code saying SIG abort or, you know, uh, some other cryptic error message. And it just doesn't mean very much. So let me create a crash right now. Uh, and I will show you guys how to figure that out. All right, so I've got an existing project here. And I'm just going to comment out a line of code which I know will cause the app to crash. And I'm going to run it by pressing Command R. And this is going to build my project. Um, it's going to launch the iOS simulator, and it's going to run my project on that simulator. So there it goes. And I'm fully expecting this to crash. All right, so there it goes. And it's going into my app delegate, which is the entry point for my app. And I have this error message on the right here, which says SIG abort. And that's not very meaningful. And sometimes it can't highlight exactly the line that's going wrong. It just knows that something is wrong uh, and it's crashed. But where you wanna pay attention to is down here in the debug area. If you watched my Xcode user interface walkthrough, uh, you'll know that this area is for troubleshooting your code. If you don't see this area under your code editor, uh, go to the upper right hand corner uh, and uh, make sure you have this button toggled on. Uh, this button hides or shows the debug area. And if you still don't see it, take note that in the debug area, you have these two buttons here, which uh, you can hide and show the left or right side of the debug area. So make sure that uh, the right hand side is visible so you see all of this text so what you want to do uh, when it crashes is uh, right here at the very bottom this is not the well this is an error message but it's just telling you that it crashed so what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way up and usually what happens is you're going to find the source of the crash so it tells you that the view hierarchy is not prepared for the constraint. And it, it basically gives you a little more detailed uh, information about your crash. Now, the crash that you have may not have this exact uh, message because depending on why it's crashing, uh, you're gonna get some different message here. But it's a lot more helpful to read this message here because it's usually more detailed and it usually tells you the source of the problem. So here, uh, for this particular instance, it's telling me exactly what is wrong. It's telling me that in here, I'm trying to add all of these auto layout constraints, but I haven't added the object to the view. Uh, and if you've worked with auto layout constraints before, uh, you'll know that you have to add that element to the view before you can add auto layout constraints on it. Uh, and basically, that just means you have to add that element to the view before you can add the rules to position that element on your view. Uh, when I commented this line out, I was trying to position that element with these rules before I've even added the element to the view. So that's what this hints at. See, the view hierarchy is not prepared for the constraint. Uh, if you had another type of error, like cannot find selector or something like that, that implies it's trying to call a method on an element, but I can't find that. A selector is just another word for element. And I think I'm going to do some future videos just to go through the different types of error messages you might encounter. I think that would be very helpful for you guys. But I just wanted to do this video to show you guys how to get the detailed uh, message for your error. So when you run into a crash and you're trying to ask for help, whether you're posting on forums or you're asking me, uh, this detailed error message right here is the one that you want to quote. So there you go. So thanks for watching and I hope that was helpful to you guys. I'll see you in the next video.